2024 Toyota Tundra Review, Aspiring to Truck Greatness. Hello everyone welcome to Yen Reviews. Before you start the video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Yen Reviews channel and page if you like it, so as not to miss the latest news about reviews car, technology, and major events around the world. Subscribe channel and follow page the news faster. The previous generation Tundra truck was as reliable as the sun, but by 2021, it was 15 years old, out of date, and out of its depth against rivals such as the Ford F-150, Ram 1500, and Chevrolet Silverado models that have all been redesigned far more recently. So when a completely redesigned and thoroughly modernized new Toyota Tundra arrived at a price not much higher than the old one for the 2022 model year, everybody took note. Maybe this was the car that would break Toyota into the big league dominated by the domestic truck makers. Not a single part was carried over, and no longer would a naturally aspirated V8 be offered at all. The new Tundra comes only with a twin-turbocharged V6 with outputs varying from 348 to 437 horsepower, the latter from a hybridized setup. For 2024, the Toyota gets a few additional tweaks to try bring it in line. The available powertrains offer strong performance and improved gas mileage, but while its new coil-sprung rear end mimics that of the Ram, it doesn't deliver the same ride quality or towing stability. The Tundra is also hamstrung by the lack of a permanent AWD option or a two-door regular cab, since only double cab and crew max body styles are available. Unlike domestic rivals, no nifty multifunctional tailgate is available either. It's no class leader then, so what are its strengths? and to what extent can they make up for its weaknesses. New for 2024 The 2024 Tundra receives changes to its options and packages. The nightshade package that blacks out the exterior trim is now available on the limited trim, while the TRD off-road package is extended to the platinum trim's options list. This year, the 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster is made standard on all Tundras from the limited grade and up. The head-up display standard on the capstone and optional on the platinum, an up was previously part of a package, but is now sold as a standalone option. A new burnt orange exterior paint color called Terra is added too, but it's available on the TRD Pro trim only. All trims in the range, except for the TRD Pro, will be eligible for a 3-inch factory suspension lift kit from now on. The Tundra 1794 Limited Edition will again be offered as a limited run trim for the 2024 model year. Only 1,500 examples will be made available to buyers in the USA, and it receives some changes over last year's 1794, specifically blacked-out exterior trim, a 1.1-inch suspension lift, and Fox dampers. It has a premium interior decked out in leather designed by the Saddleback Leather Company and comes with exclusive Saddleback accessories. Unlike previously, the 1794 edition is now only available with the hybrid powertrain. The 2024 Toyota Tundra's price list starts at a whisker under $40,000. 2024 Toyota Tundra price, which one to buy? The base price of a new Toyota Tundra is $39,965 this year, and it's for the SR trim the only Tundra that remains under the $40,000 mark. This is followed by the SR5 at $45,500, the Limited at $51,855, the Platinum at $61,775, and the 1794 edition at $62,460. This pricing is MSRP for the respective trims in their most basic configurations. The TRD Pro at $72,130 and the Capstone at $78,845 are exclusively sold as hybrids. Upgrading the SR double cab to the 8.1 foot bed will cost you $330 and upgrading it to Crew Max with the 5.5-foot bed costs $2,050. Almost endless permutations are possible, with some trims giving you more body options, so you'll have to check the configurator for your preferred combination and its pricing. Upgrading any trim from 2WD to 4WD costs $3,000, and upgrading the Limited or Platinum from regular gas to iForce Hybrid will cost you $3,930. These prices don't include Toyota's $1,850 destination charge. The $52,000 gas Tundra Limited makes the most sense to us. It gets the full power engine from the SR5, 20-inch alas, and access to all the extras you need, such as the TRD off-road package. 
It has enough standard features and luxuries to make it a pleasure to use every day, including a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, climate-controlled power front seats, a heated steering wheel, the large touchscreen, a tow hitch, and more driver assists. We wouldn't stretch another $4,000 for the hybrid because it doesn't add enough in terms of performance or economy to justify the extra outlay. Interior and Features The smart interior looks right at home in a modern truck, and although the materials aren't plush in the base trims where you get cloth upholstery and hard plastics it's solid and rattle-free. It's all a bit drab and black in the SR, with some satin finish metallic accents lifting the SR5's cabin but the Tundra's interior comes into its own from limited level and up. The Limited receives more soft-touch surfaces on the dashboard and doors, leatherette upholstery, more color choices, and a larger touchscreen, lifting its ambience considerably above that of the base trims. It's practical and easy to use as well, with hard buttons for the climate control. Strong horizontal lines emphasize the cabin's width and reinforce the impression of spaciousness but interior space isn't a particular highlight and less than you'll find in rivals. The seats are comfortable, and the cabin is quiet on the move, but getting inside is a bit of a step up, which is typical for a truck with a high ground clearance. Only the top trims make this easier with power deploying running boards. The high vantage point is great for planning your next move in traffic but makes it more difficult to see low cars behind you, so you'll rely on the backup camera because standard parking sensors only appear on the Limited and a surround view monitor is only standard on the Platinum. Space All Tundras provide seating for five people in two rows. There is no regular cab with two doors as you'd find in Rivals, just a smaller double cab and a larger crew max cab configuration. They all have the same roomy first row, but the double cab is decidedly more snug in the second row than most Rivals, about the same as an F-150 quad cab but with around 2 inches less legroom than the Silverado Double Cab and Ram 1500 Quad Cab. Legroom is generous in the longer Crew Max's second row, though still several inches short of the competition. Cargo The Tundra offers three different bed lengths. The 8.1-foot bed is only available on the Double Cab, but either 5.5 or 6.5-foot beds can be had in conjunction with either the Double Cab or the Crew Max Cabs. These bed volume options are fairly similar to what the competition offers. The lengths are self-explanatory, and total width is 58.7 or 48.7 inches between the wheel wells. All three beds have a depth of 20.9 inches. Toyota constructs the Tundra's beds out of an aluminum composite that is said to be very resistant to denting and casual damage. An easy lift tailgate is standard, but a configurable one like that on its rivals isn't available. Cabin storage is ample and every passenger gets access to cup holders and four roomy door pockets. There's the obligatory lidded center console storage bin, uncovered center console storage for smaller items, including a wireless charging pad on trims so equipped, and an overhead console with a sunglasses holder. There's additional storage with removable and adjustable partitions under the gas trim's rear seats, but not the hybrids, which use that space for the hybrid hardware and battery. Materials and Colors the SR's plain black interior comes with black cloth on the seats only, and it has a urethane steering wheel and shift knob. The SR5 gives access to boulder, gray, cloth as well, and while its interior can be further upgraded with various packages that add leatherette upholstery and a leather trim steering wheel, these two upgrades come standard on the Limited, with its seats rendered in either black or boulder soft text leatherette. The TRD Pro is also dressed in leatherette, but in either black or cockpit red, with various red highlights throughout the interior, such as TRD scripts on the seats and steering wheel, and red stripes on the top of the tiller's rim and the shifter knob. The Platinum reduces the choice of interior colors to one black but gets standard leather upholstery. The 1794 edition's interior is trimmed in tan leather designed and supplied by the Saddleback Leather Company, complete with matching leather accessories. This includes a tool roll, a large overnight bag, a small pouch, and a key glove. The capstone trim comes with a black and white interior with semi-aniline two-tone leather upholstery and dark American walnut wood grain trim. Features and infotainment. The SR trim is a rather basic workhorse trim, so you have to make do with manually adjustable cloth seats, a manually tilting slash telescoping urethane steering wheel, and single zone climate control. Standard features include keyless entry with push button start, one touch up and down power windows, 
and heated power side mirrors. The higher you move up the trims, the more features are added, and these include leatherette or leather upholstery, power front seats, climate-controlled front and rear seats, selectable drive modes, a heated steering wheel, dual-zone climate control, a power panoramic sunroof, and more. The SR and SR5 trims get a smaller 8-inch touchscreen, but the infotainment system incorporates Sirius XM, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 6- or 9-speaker audio system, depending on the cab style. The Limited upgrades the touchscreen to 14 inches, while the Platinum and Up upgrade the audio system to a 12-speaker JBL setup, while also adding a wireless charging pad. Performance The engine in the Toyota Tundra is a twin-turbocharged 3.4-liter V6 with 348 horsepower and 405 lbft in the SR and 389 horsepower and 479 lbft in all the other gas trims. All the other trims get access to a hybrid system comprising the gas V6 and an electric motor with a 1.87 kWh N9H battery that contributes 48 horsepower and 184 lbft of torque resulting in a total system output of 437 horsepower and 583 lbft. The hybrid system can only be had with the Crew Max body. The TRD Pro, Capstone, and 1794 edition are exclusively hybrids the latter was available with the non-hybrid mill at the time of riding, however. Rear-wheel drive is standard, but four-wheel drive is optional, except on the TRD Pro, where it's the only available drivetrain configuration. Unlike its rivals, a permanent AWD system is not offered. All Tundras use the same 10-speed automatic transmission. The hybrid powertrain is the most potent and gives the Toyota Tundra a 0 to 60 sprint of around 5.7 seconds, while the 389 horsepower gas powertrain does it in around 6.1 seconds. The base 348 horsepower SR hasn't been tested but should be capable of a 6.7 second time. All Tundras are limited to a top speed of 108 miles per hour. Trailering is not class leading, but the figures are solid nonetheless, with the Tundra capable of a maximum towing capacity of 12,000 pounds in its optimal configuration. The lowest rating belongs to the SR, which can tow 8,300 pounds. Fuel Efficiency The downsized turbocharged V6 benefits the Toyota Tundra's MPG figures, and even without hybrid assistance. All the non-hybrid 4x2 gas tundras get EPA estimates of 18-23-20 mpg for the city-slash-highway-slash-combined cycles. A base F153.3 V6 2WD FFE still does better at 21 miles per gallon overall, though. The 4WD SR returns 17-23-19 mpg, while the 389 horsepower 4x4 gas models almost match this losing just one mile per gallon on the highway. Most economical of all are the 4x2 hybrids, which return 20-24-22 mpg, while the figures for the 4x4 hybrids are 19-22-20 mpg except the high-riding TRD Pro with its all-terrain tires, which returns 18-20-19 mpg. The SR and SR5 have a 22.5 gallon fuel capacity giving them a range of between 427 and 450 miles. The other trims have a 32.2-gallon tank, meaning that the thriftiest hybrid can get as far as 708 miles on a tank, while even the thirstiest can still get to 611 miles. The larger fuel tank is an option on the SR5 but not on the SR. In terms of the driving experience, it again scores around the middle of the class, with few standout features. The steering is accurate enough, and the brake response solid. Handling is predictable and the truck generally feels as big as it actually is, which is always a compliment. However, despite that much vaunted coil-sprung rear axle emulating what the Ram 1500 has been doing for years now, the Tundra cannot match the Ram for overall ride refinement and directional stability when towing. Neither has the nifty rear suspension banished the typical shuddering and quivering that go with a body-on-frame design. Performance isn't class-leading, but the turbocharged V6 feels punchy and well in command of the mass, especially in hybrid form, where the extra bottom end torque easily outguns the old 5.7 liter V8 and helps smooth out the 10 speed auto's shifts. You'll either love or hate the fake V8 noises Toyota pipes through the audio system. The TRD Pro gains a useful measure of off road prowess, 
but just don't expect the magical damping of an F-150 Raptor. Safety The NHTSA's safety review of the Toyota Tundra reveals that it's an extremely safe truck, scoring a maximum of 5 stars overall and for all tests except the 4-star rollover test the typical result for a truck. The IHS hasn't tested the 2024 Tundra at the time of riding, but the identical 2023 model scored good for every test except for the base headlight specification, which scored acceptable. This was still good enough to bag it a top safety pick plus award. The standard safety specification naturally includes the typical ABS, stability control, backup camera, and tire pressure monitoring, while every Tundra also comes with eight airbags. Toyota adds to this the TSS 2.5 driver assistance suite right from SR level, which includes front collision alert with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing, road sign recognition, and automatic LED headlights with auto high beams. Also standard are hill start assist and an electric parking brake. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert is optional on the SR5 and standard on the Limited which also gets reverse tilt-down side mirrors, an auto-dimming feature for all three of its rearview mirrors, and trailer merge alert. The Platinum adds to these features rain-sensing wipers, a home-link transceiver, a surround-view monitor, and a camera-based digital rearview mirror. The capstone is the only trim to get a standard 10-inch head-up display. Reliability One thing that's worse on the latest generation Toyota Tundra is its reliability. Whereas JD Power gave the previous generation an excellent quality and reliability rating of 86, the 2023 Tundra could do no better than a mediocre 70, so we're hoping that these are just teething troubles typical of a brand new design and that these ratings will improve. No recalls have been recorded for the 2024 Tundra at the time of writing, but the 2023 model was recalled six times for a variety of reasons, from incorrect load capacity labels, detaching tonneau covers, and failing spare tire carrier chains to a blank backup camera display and a fuel leak. The 2024 Toyota Tundra's warranty is also rather average. The limited warranty is valid for 3 years or 36,000 miles, whichever comes first. The powertrain warranty runs for 5 years or 60,000 miles, and complimentary servicing is included for 2 years or 25,000 miles. Design. Toyota has made the Tundra as tall, boxy, and imposing as a full-size truck should be, and its intimidating countenance will be seen by most as appropriate for this type of car. Compact LED headlights sit on either side of a huge grille, whose treatment varies by trim from plain black at the bottom of the range to chrome slats or a mesh pattern, whatever the case might be. In all cases, the frame of the grille widens as it descends, bracketing a black bumper insert that makes it look as if the grille goes all the way down to the bottom. Every Tundra has subtle styling differences, and higher trims gain fog lights and a panoramic sunroof. The SR makes do with 18-inch steel wheels, but the Limited, Platinum, and 1794 runs on 20s and the capstone on big 22s. In between are the SR5 and TRD Pro, which get 18-inch alloys, the latter black forged BBS wheels with all-terrain tires. The TRD Pro can also be recognized by its off-road appearance, with a higher ride height, red exterior accenting, TRD Pro stamp tailgate, and an LED light bar on the grille. All trims get the same tough, weight-saving aluminum composite load bed. The only available paint colors for the 1794 limited edition are Wind Chill Pearl, Blueprint, Smoked Mesquite, and Midnight Black Metallic. It gets bespoke exterior badging, all its exterior trim, and its wheels are blacked out, and it has a uniquely stamped tailgate. Verdict, is the 2024 Toyota Tundra a good truck? The Toyota Tundra is a solid effort, and its blend of talents should win it many new fans. It doesn't come with all the variety buyers expect in the truck market nowadays, so if you're looking for a multi-purpose tailgate, permanent all-wheel drive, or a regular cab, you're out of luck. The advanced new powertrains are punchy, and most people won't miss a V8 but the Tundra is not as fuel-efficient as we'd hoped. It's also a bit smaller inside, but the cabin is comfortable and stylish. Ride quality on the coil suspension is good, but it can't beat the Ram, while most rivals also tow more. It ranks near the middle of the class in most respects, and doesn't disgrace itself in any discipline. It certainly deserves a spot on your shortlist and a test drive. Thank you for watching my video if you like my video, 
Please don't forget to subscribe and follow my channel and page to see more interesting videos.